It was always on fire Our house, our dreams We were dancing on a wire Good morning! We made it to Japan. We woke up super early at like 3.40 a.m. Jet lag is super real. But my mom and I are just about to check out of our airport hotel and begin our Japan adventures. And today we are off to Chiba, which is an area of Japan that I don't think I've actually ever been to before. So I'm really excited to explore this coastal surf beach area. This morning we saw a beautiful sunrise, very fitting for our first morning here in the land of the rising sun. And we're just gonna get our stuff together and we are off. We just made it to Ichinomiya, which is the site of the Tokyo Olympics for the surfing event. And to explore, my mom and I rented a couple of bicycles and we are just cruising around, checking out this beautiful beach town. And right behind me are just fields and fields of rice, looking like it's at peak harvest. So it's so pretty and green. And even though it's a little bit rainy, I think the sun's gonna come out and it's gonna be a great day. So let's go explore Ichinomiya Beach and check out the Japanese surf culture. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh. We asked one of the local guys where we could rent a board and he pointed us to this surf shop deep surf and I got myself a fun size foamy board. Unfortunately they didn't really have um, short boards and I definitely think the waves are short boardable but you know what? Never can have a bad session on a foamy. So we are going to go back to the beach, walk on over with the board and go try it out. All right we're here at the beach. As you can see behind me there are some waves and plenty of surfers out and about but it definitely looks manageable out there um, so I'm gonna try I don't know if I can bring the GoPro out but it is pouring rain right now as well but it uh, doesn't matter if I'm gonna get wet anyway so I'm gonna get ready and try it out okay just got out of the ocean. It was actually super fun. The sun popped out and I got like five pretty fun ones, so I'm pretty happy. But yeah, just such a good experience surfing Ichinomiya Beach for the very first time. Everyone was super polite out there, so that was awesome. I think Japanese surfers are probably amongst the most polite in the world in terms of surf etiquette. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun. And now we're gonna go head back to the surf shop and then bike around and check out more of the area. I love that this place definitely has the surf town vibes and has all these lovely bike paths that connect all the beaches so you can just cruise to the next spot. We just got to a new surf shop and there is a vending machine filled with surf wax. I think that's genius. I think that that should be a thing everywhere you go when you go to a beach. <laughs> hello, hello. We just checked into our accommodations for tonight and we've got this beautiful view of the bay and the harbor here. It's already 3 p.m. and we have been on our feet 
all day. So we're just going to relax for a bit, check out their bathing area, which overlooks the sea. And then later today, we have a very special seafood dinner planned. Something that I really like about Japan is that each town usually has a mascot. This town, the mascot is a red snapper. And so I've seen a red snapper all over the town. And it's also made its way onto my little pajama set here. And I've also got a little treat. So this is definitely the theme of the town. The next day, my mom and I already did so much because we get up super early due to jet lag. So we went to the upstairs outdoor bath. Then we took a walk around the town, visited a couple shrines, and also had a buffet breakfast. And now I'm just enjoying a cup of green tea before we head off again on another full day of adventuring and this time we're gonna go take the train to the next town over and stay in a really beautiful hotel with an incredible ocean view so it's gonna be a really fun day today it is so hot and humid already and it's still pretty early in the morning so got another scorcher ahead of us but we're just at the train station right now waiting for the next train it's a pretty empty quiet one so we're just letting ourselves breathe without a mask on So my mom and I just checked into our accommodations for the night and this place is crazy. Basically what happened was since this is peak season in this area, a lot of the hotels were already booked, but the, I guess, best room was available at this hotel. So we just went for it. And it's basically the equivalent of staying in a Japanese penthouse. It's so spacious, definitely overkill for just my mom and I, but we are definitely going to enjoy it so, so much. So time for a penthouse room tour. Oh, I think I hear food coming. Oh. <laughs> well, before I give you guys a room tour, we need to enjoy this because they just brought us kakigori, which is Japanese shaved ice, and we have pretty much all the varieties of flavors that you could put on top of kakigori azuki red bean and mochi i think this is strawberry and this is matcha and i think there's already condensed milk and ice cream on top and then we also have some beautiful welcome fruits such a cute presentation we're going to just enjoy all of this with this view this is hands down the fanciest kakigori I've ever had. Now let's taste it. That is so good. Oh wow, you put the entire matcha on top. Oof. I will do it too. Mm. So good. So good. Wow. All right, time to resume the tour. So we've got a little bedroom in here with two beds. And then this is the bathroom. 
And we've actually got two toilets in here, which is pretty funny. There's one in there. Japanese style, of course. It sanitizes itself and opens when it senses that you're near. I love that. And here is another toilet in there. And then we also got a Japanese style ohuro, which means bath. So we've got the cedarwood bath, the separate cleaning area, and then these windows actually open up. Get some fresh air in here. Whoa. So I will definitely be enjoying a bath in here later. And then we've got a tatami room, very spacious one with an ocean view right over here. This tatami room can be converted into a sleeping area as well if we wanted to do the Japanese style, which is laying down the futon. And I guess this is a separate seating area with a massive TV. And then just when you thought there couldn't be anything more, there is an additional tatami room with a view. Now that we've checked in, I don't think we're planning on leaving this hotel because we're spending a lot of money to be here and it's absolutely gorgeous. So we're thinking of it as a luxury staycation and I think we're going to go explore the hotel grounds. There's some really lovely hot springs all around this hotel so we're gonna go look for them and then later on I believe we have a massage scheduled for us in the room followed by an in-room dinner as well. So you also get a complimentary yukata to wear during the stay. I chose this beautiful blue pattern with a pink sash and my mom chose this cute floral pattern with a white sash so we'll definitely be wearing that for the rest of the day once we freshen up behind this closet is all of the futon bedding in case we did want to sleep on the tatami it's dinner time. My mom and I just went to the Ohuro downstairs, the onsen, and we changed into some yukata, and now we are having a lovely dinner here in our room with the view of the ocean. And for dinner, we have all sorts of delicious looking seafood because that is the specialty of this area. So we are just sampling all of the local delicacies and it is going to be such high quality and so fresh. Plating in Japanese cooking is always so beautiful. Look at these little plant accessories here and look at this plating. I know, that's amazing. It's over a bowl of ice, all sorts of fresh fish and sashimi. And over here, I know what this is. This is an abalone with kelp and uh, don't know what else that is, but we are going to eat it and try. We just finished up with dinner. It took about two hours because there were so many courses involved, but every dish was so meticulously prepared and presented in such a beautiful way, and every dish was delicious. And now we are getting ready for bed, and even though we have the option to sleep in regular beds, I think it's more fun to sleep in the traditional Japanese way, especially when staying in a traditional ryokan like this one. So so this is gonna be our bed situation for tonight and I'm thinking I might even open up these curtains and see if we can look at any stars while laying down in bed. I feel like that would be really cool. Really fun to experience traditional Japanese culture like this but I am off to bed because I'm exhausted but thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next Japan vlog. Good night!